What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here. And in today's video, we are gonna take a look at setting up local AI, the free open source alternative to OpenAI, Claude, and others. We're gonna show you how you can self-host this for free. This tool allows you to generate text, audio, video, images, voice cloning, and a bunch of other cool stuff. You'll be able to access all this in a web GUI or have the option to run it in an API so you can integrate it with your apps or anything that you want. Let's dive right into it. So before I show you guys how to set it up, let's just quickly go over the features. So text generation with GPTs, text to audio, audio to text, image generation with stable diffusion, open AI like tools, API, embedding generation for vector databases, constrained grammars, download models directly from hugging face, vision API, re-ranking API, P2P interfacing, and then integrated web UI. And this project's been around for a while. It has over 25K stars on github and they actually now have a really simple setup so all you're gonna have to do is have a docker installed on your system if you don't have docker go to docker.com get that set up and running and then you can either run the installer script like so now i was having a couple issues with this um i don't know exactly why uh, i didn't troubleshoot too hard but for me it was just easier to run this right here Okay, and you'll see here that there is different options for images. So you can run this one right here for CPU. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you could run this one. Without pre-configured models, you could just run this. And then without pre-configured models for NVIDIA GPU, you could run this. Okay, because when you run this, it's going to install some pre-configured models. And you're going to need about probably like, I don't know the exact number, but it is a pretty big... Um, uh, amount of space you'll need maybe 10 to 20 gigabytes just to be safe i know there's about four or five three to five different models i believe that's going to pull up all the docker containers and install all the different models here once you install the models and get this whole thing set up you can go to localhost port 8080 to access local ai all right so here we are at our local ai instance here you'll be able to see the documentation as well. So I would recommend, you know, if you're going to dive deep into local AI, check out the documentation. They have some pretty good uh, stuff here covering, you know, getting set up, all the different features. Because like I said, there are a lot of different features. We won't be able to go into each one of them so in depth in today's video. Um, there's different integrations, advanced features, etc. So definitely check that out. Now on the homepage is where you'll see your different models. So here we got eight installed models. These are the default ones that come. So we got GPT-4, uh, GPT-4.0, Gina Reranker, Stable Diffusion, Text Embedding Ada, TTS-1, Whisper-1, Back Lava right here. So um, you can delete specific ones if needed. And over in Models right here, you'll be able to install different ones. So as you can see, available 536 models from one repository. Up here, you can filter by TTS models. You can filter by image generation models, text generation, multimodal, embedding models, re-rankers, audio transcriptions. All right, so you can see a bunch of different models here. So we got Quencoder, you know, so many models you can really choose from. Some of them have uh, logos here, some of them don't. You'll be able to see the repository, the license. You can go info here and it will pull up some information on the model. You can see the links. So hugging face right here, different tags. And if you want to install the model, it's very simple. You just click install and it will get going. So you have the option to install so many different models, like I said. Um, and then you can also chat with the models over here. So in chat, you'll have a nice chat GUI right here. So you could go up here and select different models you want to chat with. You could do different ones, of course, that appear here. You can set a system prompt if need be. You can set an API key right here and you could clear chat. I can say, tell me a joke. All right. And it said, why don't scientists trust Adam? Because they make up everything. Haha. <laughs> so funny. Okay. So there is the chat. You can, of course, change different models here, download more models as well, of course. So if you come over to the docs here, you can, of course, chat with, you know, local AI in the GUI, the web GUI, like I just showed you. But you can also use the API endpoints to send API requests to local AI in your applications or just in general, HTTP requests to uh, chat with the model, do chat completions, etc. I'll show you that in just a second. But while I'm here on the integrations page, 
you can see we got anything LLM, we got code GPT, Flowwise, Langchain, uh, LLM stack, a bunch of different integrations. So that's pretty cool. So if we go to features here in text generation, you can see the API reference. So chat completions right here. You could also reference the OpenAI docs right here, but you could see we could make a curl request to localhost 880. Uh, chat completions right here, and you could select your model. You could change your message right here. So role you, uh, content right here and your prompt temperature right here you have additional parameters like top p top k max tokens you could do edit completions completions list models a bunch of different stuff so check out the docs all right next is generate images so if we go to generate images here you could select um, your text to image model so we would do stable diffusion and then you can do something like monkey playing bingo and then send Okay, so here's our image. Uh, obviously not perfect. The monkeys are kind of deformed and I don't know what type of bingo game this is. But of course, you could try different models, do different prompts, of course, you know, improve that. This is just a test. I did get a better one before when I was doing tests. And of course, if you reference the docs here, you can see the image generation as well as um, the different API endpoints right here that you could use to generate images. Okay, you could also come over to API right here, of course, and you'll see the Swagger API right here. So you can see all the different API endpoints for pretty much everything within the app. All right next is text to speech slash audio. So we can go ahead and prompt it right now and it will generate that into speech format. First off, I'm going to select the model and put that to TTS. All right, and we'll just say, yo, subscribe to Josh. Okay, and then we can click on download results save that file and we can open it right here and take a listen yo subscribe to josh okay so pretty cool of course with any of these you can use different models then let's go over here to talk all right so here you can change the different models like llm model we'll just do gpt4 whisper model we can do whisper tts we'll do tts and then we can go ahead and click talk now i don't know if it will be able to pick this up just because i'm recording right now let's go ahead and try Okay, how do you make a cupcake in, explain it to me in 30 seconds. Okay, so now it's processing the audio that we just spoke. All right, so now you can see that it picked it up. Um, well, let's go ahead and try. Okay, how do you make a cupcake and explain it to me in 30 seconds. All right, so I picked up our audio. Now it is generating the response. All right, and as you can see, we have our output right here. So I'm going to go ahead and play some of it. In 30 seconds, here's a simple guide to make cupcakes. One. Preheat oven to 350 degrees F 175 degrees C. Then, mix 1 1 4 cups all purpose flour, 1 2 teaspoon baking powder, 1 2 teaspoon baking soda, and a pinch of salt in a bowl. Pre. All right, I think you guys get the point. So that is the talk feature. All right, and then there is swarm up here. So distributed inference with P2P. So distribute computation by sharing and load balancing instances or share uh, sharding model weights so you can read more about this feature right here in the docs and how you can actually use it right here you would actually have to start local ai uh, right here using these flags so p2p and federated so i'm not using it right now so i'm not going to cover that but this is more a little bit more advanced stuff if you want to check that out but that's pretty much it guys for local AI. Just to summarize guys, this is a powerful UI interface that allows you to download different models from different types such as TTS, image gen, text gen, embeddings, re-ranking. You can do TTS of course, talk, generate images, all that good stuff. And you can access all these features within a nice API similar to what you would use with OpenAI. So you can connect these into your apps, do a bunch of different stuff with this, or just use the web GUI. Let me know what your thoughts are guys about local AI in the comments down below. Have you used it before? You know, do you use it for some really cool features that we didn't cover in this video? Do you like it or do you know a better alternative? Let me know what your thoughts are down below guys. Other than that, if you're new to the channel and you got some value here, then like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. We do videos all the time on AI, marketing, sales, business growth, etc. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below for our free Facebook group and Discord channel. And then also too, guys, if you run a business and you need help with marketing, sales, systems, implementing AI, AI agents, appointment setters, AI call centers into your business to streamline your sales process and lead flow, 
book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit other than that guys i will see you in the next video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock no more wasted time on training no more frustration with performance and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers introducing stride agents ai powered appointment setters that work 24 7 never get tired and book appointments while you sleep trained on thousands of successful conversations our ai agents outperform human teams at just one tenth of the cost join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks don't get left behind in the ai revolution visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting edge ai technology it's time to accelerate your stride with ai agents